Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we are finishing the front end transformation of the Tahoe. So this Tahoe used to have a really, really dated front end. The headlights gave off almost no light. They were super, super faded. The grill was chipping and basically busted in all these different areas. And then the bumper was pretty dinged up as well. So now we have these new headlights. These have this really nice DRL right here. These also have a little bit more of a sleek design. The bottom section and the upper section is blacked out. So all you have is the back reflecting. And then we also have this new grill. So basically this grill is a replacement grill that we got painted in this really, really nice metallic black. You can see that really nice metallic flake in there and the bumper as well this is a new bumper it's also a little bit of a different style it doesn't have that little trim in the center got this one color matched i think this like nice black on blue looks really really good but there's still a handful of things left to do now one thing that i did that's a little bit more understated because you can't see it super obviously is i upgraded the projector bulb to an led bulb thanks to lost fit auto lighting so the bulb is a 9006 and the amount of light it gives off is insane especially compared to factor you can see right here this switch is just, it has such a wide angle of light and it's super, super bright on top of that. And it's a very clean white. And thanks to them, I'm gonna be able to completely overhaul the front end of the vehicle with their LED bulbs. And I have the links down in the description box down below. You can also save yourself 10% off your order by using my code, DITO10. But we're also doing a handful of other things to this front end as well. If you have an OBS, you're probably aware that the projector bulb is a factory DRL, quote unquote. Basically, anytime you have the vehicle on, that bulb is always gonna be on. But it doesn't really serve much of a purpose because you can still turn the dial for the projector to turn on itself. And now that I have these DRLs, I definitely wanna remove the factor of the projector being a DRL. So that's something else we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's pretty easy. And on top of that, I forgot that I'm supposed to have the Chevy emblem here. So I still have the factory emblem, so I'm gonna sand it down, paint it, and give it a nice new look so this can be like completely blacked out i'll show you guys how to do that as well so of all the lights right here so this is the second package that i get from them and without a doubt you can tell that the packaging is pretty awesome very very clean very sleek and then you have the two bulbs right here basically going to be the same as replacing the projector bulbs just that these are high beams so those are 9006 and these are going to be 9005 you can also just go on the website and literally put in uh, the make and model of your vehicle it'll give you the list of everything got these replacements for the corner lights they are basically just like a nice little led upgrade then also got these for the turn signals you'll notice they're a little beefy and they also have some weight to them that is because they have a resistor built in to combat hyper flash basically hyper flash is whenever you have a halogen bulb and then you replace it with an LED bulb. Halogen bulbs actually require more power so if you put it with an LED bulb that requires less power it's going to be getting too much power and that's why it flashes a lot quicker. So usually when you do casual upgrades if you don't put in a resistor that's why it flashes so quickly. Now these basically make it to where you don't have to account for anything because they have the resistor built in. So this makes it super super easy to account for because it's literally just a direct swap. You literally just pull out the old one, pop this one in, twist it and you're essentially done. No hyper flash or anything but you get the LED brightness because it's a really really quality piece. So you can see right here, this is the projector. We've already upgraded that. What we're gonna be upgrading today is the high beam, as you can see right here, it's still the stock one. What we're gonna be doing is twisting it, and it comes out just like that. And while this does have its own bulb, we're actually gonna be replacing this entire piece right here. All you actually need to do is just pop this back a little bit, wiggle it up, and it comes out just like that. And so these lost fit bulbs are plug and play. This is the 9005 for the high beam. Again, the projector has 9006 and you literally just plug it in exactly the same way. You can see right here it is a plug. It has those two little pins in there. And that's exactly the same as what goes on here. So you literally just pop this on. That's it. Now all you need to do is literally just put it inside the bulb, twist, and it's secure. You can go ahead and do the turn signals as well. So we'll just open this packaging. So you can see this is just a normal halogen bulb. All you're doing is twisting it and popping it out. And you'll see this has these two little anchor points right there. Also has that small little notch right there. And that lets you line it up. And that helps you line it up because there are these little indentations right here for those notches. So you just put it in there, squeeze it, and twist. And there you go. The last thing is gonna be this parking light. As you can see, it's pretty simple, pretty small. This one you just pull out. Very, very simple, just like that. Here's a little bit of a comparison for you guys. You can see that one is very high tech, the other is just a bowl, basically. And then the bottoms do have a little bit of a different look, but they both have the same profile. So you just squeeze it in here. Get it to sink down, and there you go. The next thing we're gonna account for is, you see, even without the headlamps on, you can see the projectors on. So let me show you what to do to get this feature turned off. 
So if you go underneath your dash right at about this point right here, you'll see this module. Now it's pretty tight down here so I can't give you the most specific look at it. I was actually able to maneuver it out, but you don't necessarily need to pull it out. All you need to do is unplug it. On top of it, it has a little lever, you push that down, you wiggle it out, and that's essentially all that you have to do. Okay, so we got it out. This is essentially what it is. And it's very just the one plug, basically you press it on the top and it comes out. That is how you get rid of your factory DRLs and now this looks a lot better. So now that we've got all the lights set up, we can go ahead and move on to the bow tie, which I did find. Uh, and as you can see, it's a little scuffed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be sanding it down just to get it all smooth. And then from there, I'm gonna shoot it with some primer, then some gloss black, and then some clear coat, kind of as a protectant. You can definitely go about this a lot more of a professional way if you wanted to get it professionally painted or even a replacement piece. But this is the easy DIY way to go about it. It's only about 20 bucks for all the paints and basically everything that you're gonna need with the sandpaper and whatnot. And I have made a video that goes a little bit more in depth on how to do stuff like this. I'm gonna link that in the top right corner. But other than that, that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, it has been sanded. We're gonna start off with this Rust-Oleum primer, then this gloss black, then the clear coat. Just make sure that you read the instructions and whatnot because they are gonna have different dry times and whatnot. So little guidance right there. All right, we got the primer on. Next is gloss black. We gotta let this dry first. All right, that is the gloss black and now we can move on to the clear coat. So here it is all complete. So we can go ahead and put it back on the grill. From there, we can start reassembling everything. And just like that, the front end for the Tahoe is complete. So as you can see, the factory DRLs with the projectors are no longer on, got that removed. And now it's just the new DRLs, which I really, really like. We also got the emblem back on and painted. You can see the new turn signals in there, as well as this corner light right here. It all came out really, really well. So let me go ahead and turn on the hazard just so you can get some perspective how they're looking so you can see right here it's really bright basically as soon as they turn on you really can't see any details in the actual housing another thing i did for these corner lights is i got a sharpie and basically just blacked out the plug itself it's like a whitish color and it was very distracting so this way it doesn't really draw any attention and here you can get a little close up and this is not them flashing this is literally just them on so front end is complete and i could not be happier with how it came out now, as for the turn signals, you are gonna need to let them run at least for, I don't know, like 30 seconds or so, um, because as soon as I plugged it in and I turned it on, there was a hyper flash, but I let it run for about a minute or so and then it went away. So it's basically just like a little activation type thing. I'm not really sure, I don't know the specifics of it, but nonetheless, the hyper flash is completely gone. So, so that's the left turn signal right there. As you can see, it is blinking normally. I'll pop this up to the other side. And there you go, just literally an LED swap. Really, really easy to do. Very, very much recommend them. Again, I have a link in the description box down below and you can use my code as well. So here's a little walk around of the vehicle as she sits. This is with all the lights on. Next thing we're gonna be doing is getting the new wheels installed uh, in a couple days. And here you can see the new dash. And I did already do the bench seat conversion, but I do think I'm gonna be able to actually get them reupholstered sooner rather than later. So I'm probably gonna do all that in one video as opposed to just an install video. Then around here, you have the tail lights. So she's coming together and definitely a lot of progress has been done. So shouldn't be too, too much longer until she's ready to go. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next one.